Hello there guys, Wayne here from Luna's World. Welcome to my setup tour 2020. Now, um, yeah, I've just done a video where I set up the, uh, the G-Track um, flight sim cockpit. It's actually a racing cockpit, but it doubles as a flight sim cockpit as well. It comes with uh, attachments for your uh, side sticks and things like that. So that's all done. I've just basically installed everything and I thought I would give you a quick tour of uh, what I'm flying. So yeah, so obviously we're going to start with the, um, the, the next level racing G-Track. I'm going to move this slightly down so you can see the whole thing. Um, really, 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 let me just get in properly here. Really comfortable seat, um, really nice leather style seats. I've got a little clip down here. If you can see this, if I pull this, I can bring my seat right back. If I want to do that, why I'd want to fly like that, I don't know, it's a bit odd. But um, for the for the track racing, you know, if you want to do F1 racing, you're actually quite flat in those uh, in those cars. So let's just fold this back up again. It's about good for me. I also have lateral movement here, where I can bring myself forward closer to the controls or further back. I like to be quite close to the controls and then I kind of, you know, push it back to get out. Um, but very, very comfortable um, setup here. So the only issue, slight issue that I had, let me just uh, bring you guys a little bit closer. Yeah, so the only slight issue I had was with fitting both the honeycomb yoke and the throttle quadrant on um, because I forgot to order the larger stand. They've got a, like um, a keyboard stand. But actually, I'm quite glad I didn't get it because a solution was to use, and let me just show you down here. Hopefully you can see this plate here. This is actually meant for a side stick. It comes with two of them in, in, the, uh, in, the flight, in the combat flight pack. And within the big box of the main uh, simulator, it comes with also a, a handbrake thing um, plate, very similar, similar to this. So I've used one of these and used the handbrake on the other side to extend my uh, desktop here which then allows me to fit both of the units on here um, without, you know, literally it's got about that much left to go. The other, the other option would be to move the honeycomb right over to the left here, but then I'm gonna be flying sort of like this, which is kind of odd in terms of where the screen is. So, so this works really, really well. I really like it. Um, it's very comfortable. Everything is here and I still have uh, space to mount a joystick here and perhaps a throttle, sorry, a joystick on the other side and a throttle quadrant here. Um, at the moment I'm using the, let me just see if I can show you, let me just... Right, at the moment, I'm using I'm using this as like a little mouse stand, which kind of works all right. Um, but yeah, so let me give you a, a, a more detailed tour. So here we go. Here's the honeycomb products here, and then of course we have the uh, the beautiful stand, which I'll show you in a minute. And I also have my iPad Pro here, which is running um, a piece of software that. Uh, will give me a map and weather information and everything else. So really cool. Um, got everything I need. This is my mic stand for when I um, record uh, videos. And let me just hop out here. And underneath here, hopefully you can see. I'm not sure if you can actually. Let's go this way. There we go. Is the beautiful butt kicker kicking my butt over there. So this is, oops. yeah, so this is what it looks like, um, the whole thing. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. It doesn't take up too much space and nice and compact there in the, in the corner. And it just, um, 
practice. That's a great job. I think it looks pretty cool as well. So yeah, the other thing to note, and excuse my messy desk here, is here's my old SciTech, and then I've got the uh, Oculus Rift there as well. I've got a bit of a musical setup going here as well, where I write music and practice. So it's uh, this is my little man cave. I even have a little hammock outside here. Is it going to adjust the? Hang on a sec. There we go. This is my little chill out area. I'll show you the neighbourhood. Why not? Oh man, it's hot today. So let me just turn down the ISO. There we go. So yeah, nice little, nice little balcony out here, and this is the neighbourhood. I don't know how much you guys can see. There's my basketball court down there. Through this, uh, I don't know what you call this tree, monkey tree. In fact, it's a rubber tree. I know what it is. Check out this one over here. Like a fan. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is where I chill. And uh, when I'm not flying, that's what I'm doing. Hanging out there, kicking back. So, um, yeah, I hope you find this uh, interesting. It's gone all dark again now. But, um, yeah, set up tour 2002. I haven't done any videos. This is kind of brand new. And I'm really glad that it fits here perfectly without looking too cluttered. Um, and it looks pretty damn cool, I have to say. Um, so, guys, yeah, I'm going to look forward to um, doing some uh, videos here, maybe some live streaming as well. Um, but in the meantime, thank you very much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if there's anything you want to see on the channel, do let me know. And uh, yeah, let's go flying soon. Take care, guys.